In this video, we'll be integrating Microsoft OCSP with our Luna HSM. On the server, I already have a CA configured, and I have the Luna client software installed. I'll open a command prompt as administrator, and change into the SafeNet Luna client directory. It's important to note that we are logged in as a domain administrator on this server. From here, I'll run VTL Verify so we can see that the partition is assigned to this client so that it can use the HSM. We can also use the CMU list command. And as you can see here, there's a key pair for the CA, which is already configured on this machine. For OCSP, the CA could be a separate server or on the same server. To make this integration simpler, I have the CA configured on the same machine. From Server Manager, we can look at the certification authority and see that it's a basic setup and there are currently no templates assigned. Because the CA is already configured and using the HSM, we've already run the KSP config utility, but for a clean installation of OCSP, we would need to do this step. We'll open Explorer and go to Program Files, SafeNet, Linux Client, and then the KSP directory, and run KSP Config. Double click on Security Library, use Browse, and go to the cryptoki.dll file, which is in the Linux Client directory. Select that and click Register. Here it's prompting if we want to overwrite the configuration because it's already been set. I'll hit OK. And then we go to register slots. For this, we'll need to register the slot both for administrator on the domain as well as NT authority for system. For each of these, we'll select the user and domain, enter the password for the slot, and click register slot. Now that the slots are both registered, we can close the KSP config utility. OCSP relies on the online responder, so from Server Manager, we'll click on Manage, Add Roles. We'll expand the certification authority and select Online Responder. For the remaining dialog boxes, we'll click Next to finish installing this role. It shouldn't need to be rebooted, but I will select this option to restart if necessary. Now that installation is complete, we can click on the Configure link here. Since we're logged in as the Domain Administrator, it should show the correct information here. Domain Administrator User. Click Next. Check the Online Responder box. And then we're done configuring the Online Responder. Now we'll click the Windows button and type Run, and then enter MMC. From here, we'll click on File, Add Remove Snap-in. We'll select Certificate Templates and click on Add, and then click OK. Now we'll select the certificate templates and then right click on OCSP response signing and select properties. Here we'll set the validity period and make sure that publish certificates in Active Directory is selected. Then we'll click on the security tab. Here we'll click add. And we'll need the exact name of the server name running OCSP. So if we go to the System Properties page, we can verify the name of the system. Here it's WinCA OCSP. So we'll go back to the screen, add that name.
and then we'll click Object Types, check the box for Computers, hit OK, and then Check Names. Now we can click OK. And with the computer selected, we can make sure Read, Enroll, and Auto-Enroll are applied as permissions. Then for Domain Admins and Enterprise Admins, we want to make sure that all four options, Read, Write, Enroll, and Auto-Enroll, are enabled. Next, we click on the Cryptography tab and select Request Must Use One of the Following Providers and use the SafeNet provider. Now we can close these windows. Under Windows Administrative Tools, we'll select Certification Authority. Here we'll right-click on the CA name and select Properties. Here we'll click on the Security tab and again, we'll add the computer name for the OCSP responder. So again, we'll enter the computer name, select Object Types, select Computers, check Names, and then Apply. We'll make sure the permission for request certificates is added for the OCSP machine. And then for administrators, domain administrators, and enterprise administrators, we'll add the permission to request certificates. Next, we'll click on Extensions and select AIA Extensions. Here we'll click on Add. And for location, we'll enter HTTP. Then we'll put the name of the server slash OCSP. We'll also select both of these checkboxes, and when prompted, we'll allow the service to restart. Now in the Certification Authority utility, we'll right-click on Certificate Templates and select New Certificate Template to Issue. We'll select the OCSP Response Signing Certificate and click OK. Now, under Administrative Tools, we'll select Services. This will allow us to configure the service. Scroll down to Online Responder Service and select that. We'll right-click and choose Properties. Then click on the Logon tab and select System Account and allow interaction with the desktop. Now we need to restart the service, so right-click and select Restart. Now under Administrative Tools, we can select Online Responder Management. We'll click on Revocation Configuration, and then click on Add. Here we'll give it a name. I'll use Test Config. Then click Next. We'll be selecting a certificate from the CA. Then click Next. We'll browse the CA and we'll select the CA from the list that's presented.
Then we'll click OK. Next. Then click Next and Finish. Once that's configured, we can see here it shows as working, and we now have the online responder configuration set up using the Luna HSM for signing the online responder certificates. We can verify that the certificates were created on the HSM. In our command prompt, we'll reissue the CMU list command, enter the partition password, and here we can see the key pair that was created for the OCSP responder. And this completes our integration of our Luna HSM with Microsoft OCSP.